In a relationship or marriage with children, sometimes women lose who they are and their identity becomes that of their family. This can become mentally and emotionally taxing. How do you guys feel about that? Hmm. <laughs> you said you said their identity gets lost and the family identity becomes theirs. Right. So let me uh, further explain. So here's the thing. Before you have a family and you have kids, you're doing you. You have your own rigmarole or how you roll and do things. When you have a family, it becomes about your family. You have to become a family person. I mean, you don't have to. Some people don't. They'd be like, you know, fuck them kids and my spouse. But, hmm. <laughs> very true. you know, things change. And in the, with the routine change and you get in the routine of being a family person and then you begin to lose you. So how how do y'all feel about that? Have you heard a lot of well, say that? in my yeah. humble opinion, okay. Um, when you have kids, you give up certain individual things. Um, that's just what happens. I mean, if you if you if you understand how life works, I mean, when you bring in another element into the world like that, you you automatically gonna lose a lot of individual things. So that's just natural. Um, losing a part of yourself, so to speak, it, it's just going to come with the territory. Okay. So I think, um, you know, I, I think that it has to do with growth. I mean, you know, I don't look at having a family as losing anything really, because it was always a part of my lexicon, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was always something that I knew that I was going to do um it was basically the natural progression of life i mean um you lose old things to gain new things so okay. it's not necessarily losing something it's actually gaining to me you know okay. what i mean like how they say um you know a man uh loses his daughter but gains a son when their daughter get married you know, that's it's just it's pretty much how you look at it. You know, and so it's more of a you saying it's more of a change, like a ele, evo, evolution. evolutionary change, a okay. natural progression in life, an evolutionary change. You grow up. I mean, you lose, for instance, when it comes to men, you lose the cheap pair of sneakers when you go from seven, you know, size seven to size eight. You know what I mean? You lose the. It, that price that you was paying for for the you know for them sevens and now you you know you you in the eights and you now you pay a full price but you know you an adult now you know what I mean I, it, it's so I kind of look at things like that man like you know I know that's kind of basic but you know I don't look at kids as is stopping me from doing anything if if anything when it comes to men it kind of motivate us to go a little bit harder in the paint. Right, but don't you think it's still healthy to you were hanging out with your boys, you mm -hmm. had certain things. Do you think it's still healthy to do those things even in a relationship to still have a part that you separate yourself from your family? Not saying you ditch them, but you know, we going to go on a, a a guys night and a girls night. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that. It's very healthy in my opinion. Um okay. I have a group of friends that I went to college with. We're real close. 90% of them are married or engaged. Um, it, it's very important to have that night of being away, so to speak, of your family. You know, it's, don't get me wrong. We don't knock anyone who doesn't come mm -hmm. to that night. But that one night from from the mouths of my friends, it's very therapeutic and very needed, mm -hmm. you know, to just kick it with the guys. You know what I'm saying? Not worry about other stuff, you know. But you know what? I think um, that it's more women uh, than men that complain about that. Okay. You know, I mean, obviously, unfortunately, in the black community, men ain't got no problem dipping, you know what I mean, on, on their family and their responsibility. But um, not more than other groups, I can tell you that. But, yeah, you you know, we, we still do our thing with our kids because I, I think men is just a little bit... We just, we just do our own thing the way we do it. You know what I mean? We really do our own thing, especially with our children. We don't have a problem being fathers sitting back and drinking with our kids in the background. We don't have a problem with that. We don't need really no individualized situation. You know what I mean? Separate. I mean, because 
we are our children. You know what I mean? Our children are us. You know what I mean? So separating ourselves from our children is kind of like separating ourselves from a part of us. Ain't that cute? <laughs> well, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. Okay. Like when it comes to me, uh, I think it was today. I was just really thinking about, um, I haven't went out nowhere with my girls in the longest time. And I think really all of them are kind of doing their own thing and they've gotten into the rigmarole of whatever. They're not even necessarily married, but they have gotten into the, um, the working and the grind and we are not taking time out. So it's just the same old thing. Work, come home, do, you know, your, your chores as whatever. It's, it's needed. I mean, even if it's, even if it's going over your home girl house, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I want to, I want to make sure it's not um, misinterpreted. When we saying guys out, we don't mean we going out to the club. We going out to right. go over one of our houses yes. and have yeah. to play poker. Exactly. It's just guys. Right. So that's very therapeutic because now we get to talk about things that we don't, may not talk about with our wife or our woman. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's just, you know, because sometimes you just need to vent. Even if it's about nothing bad, it could be joking. Like most of our nights, we just busting out laughing. Like okay. that shit is therapeutic. It yeah. is therapeutic because because one thing I, I know about men, and, and this, this happens with me even to this day, and, and I think it's a little bit easier for me because I am a twin, so I don't understand individualism at all. You know what I mean? I don't understand how people can 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 go along in this life and not have somebody challenge a person's reality or their mindset. I don't understand that. Okay. But I will tell you that when we when we do go and you know be just a, a, amongst us, it's a lot of goddamn checking back and forth. I mean, we are going to we are going to check each other so hard. You know what I mean? To get us, if 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 one of us is on some bullshit, it's gonna get called out. You know what That's I mean? That's good. It's gonna get called out. You know what I mean? And 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 it could be in a joking way, but it is definitely gonna get called out. And that's where the therapy comes in. At. And I think that we don't have enough of that. You know what I mean? We don't have a, a, a we don't have a enough opportunities for that to for that to exist. And that's why in my core group, we always do things that. Whatever we do, we can incorporate our kids. Mm -hmm. You know, so when oh, yeah. when you say going over to each other's houses, you can bring your your child up there. No, y'all go ahead, go up in that room. You know, yeah. what I mean, y'all go yeah. go upstairs or this, that, and the third. You know, I'll be, you know, I'll come get you when I'm when I'm ready to go. Something like that. And I see that women don't do that nowadays. Well, my people didn't do that growing up. We definitely did. We no, we <laughs> stayed at home with my mom. Remember, I always told you, like, right, I got tired of that. Right, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, no, we 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 were confined to the basement. Like I go over to my uncle house or my auntie house, and it was like, all right, y'all go in the basement. <laughs> That's and we just did the kid thing in the basement. But my mom is one of twelve. You see what I'm saying? So we was always going somewhere, always somewhere. And she dropped, you know, maybe she dropped us. I don't, I don't know what they were doing up there. Have it the slightest idea. Did not care. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just knew that I was over my cousin's house and we was doing whatever and you know they was doing whatever. Brown liquor. <laughs> but, yeah, but you know what? See that my, my family really didn't they didn't drink. They did other things. They definitely ain't, you know. Uh oh. You know, they they, they didn't drink, but you know, so but I mean we just had that we just I, I I guess I know how to do it. And if you've never seen it, you don't know how to do it. So I, I can understand you feeling like you've lost something or some some people or some women feel like they've lost something um, with kids because you got to share a lot. And if you don't know how to do that, if you don't know how to be yourself with your children, yeah, you're going to have a you gonna have a tough time. You're going to have a tough go at it, you know, but you know. I, I, I personally want to ask women like to be more specific to what they feel like they losing. Okay. You That's know, because one. a lot of people, when they like single, they live a certain lifestyle versus when they in a relationship or married or have kids. So I want to, I want a more detail. You oh know? yeah. I like that. Like yeah. what, what do you feel like you missing? Mm -hmm. Because a, as a man who, you know, the only thing that I really feel like I miss um, prior to kids is just, 
I guess sports, I guess, you know, I didn't, you know, I played a lot of sports. So, you know, when I, once I got more responsibilities, that extra free, free time to go, go to different parks and play pickup games or whatever, it, it just wasn't there. But right. I don't really feel like, and I, but I'm not married either. So I don't know that part of the equation of, you know, sharing everything like that. And, but like I said, you know, you got to know, and I guess this come from your parents and, you know, learning from other people, but you got to know what you getting into when you decide to have kids, when you decide to get married, right. you got to understand that because yeah, like you said, it's not really losing, it's changing. You got to mm-hmm. be ready for that change. Yeah, it's gonna be You got to know what that change looked like ahead of time. You know, I used to, uh, I used to counsel, you know, I used to, I used to train uh, guys, but our, our rides to certain events, it was always me lecturing. And, mm-hmm. and I know a lot of them got tired of it, but I was telling them stuff that I wish somebody would have told me prior. Right. So I can get ready for certain things in life so I can already be mentally prepared because it's 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 a change. Yeah, it's it is a definitely big a change. change. Yeah. It's just it's something to get used to. I mean, you know, <laughs> I I joke about uh I joke I joke about the fact that, you know, when I moved into the suburbs and uh that change from the hood to the suburbs and i tell you it was a very very <laughs> scary situation because I, I i literally be sitting back man and i and i you know my wife would be at the house i mean at, at, at work and i'm sitting there like damn man it's so damn quiet i can't hear nothing you know what i mean and you know so i get scared but yeah i mean change definitely can be scary i wish you know i wish people would have kind of like warned me and let me know hey man it's definitely gonna be change and change is difficult for anybody so yeah i i, I like that you know, getting clarification of what it is that women feel that they lost um, with gaining a family. Like, you know, to me, it, it's not all responsibility. I love my children. They, man, they make me laugh. It's, it's just amazing to see different characteristics, traits that's in them that was in me. And, you know, no one taught this to them. It's just in them. Yes, you they are definitely mean? like their dad. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing <laughs> to me. And then the things they do, like they mama. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what do they do like that, mama? Anyway. Oh, uh, hula. Uh, I, what up? Go ahead, boo. Spend all my money like that, mama. I think that um, oh boy. for the most part, with women, um, just, just, no, and I don't have children and I'm not married, but I could just say from the outside looking in, it appears that um, most of the women that I know that are in families and stuff, you know, have a family, have a husband and children and stuff, they, because... The woman has to quarterback the whole household. Like, okay. you know, um, like they really have to take on the burden of everybody that's in the house. It kind of lets you, you lose your individuality. Uh, I'm not saying that, you know, that that the man does not have a role, but at the beginning, y'all both said that men kind of be able, y'all tend to get away and be able to do, um, to do the, your things or whatever that you have to do to do, you know, to release. And women kind of be left holding the bag, not, not that it's a bad thing. It's just what the position is. So mm-hmm. sometimes you can lose sight of how to get away and just have your own individuality in the midst of all of that. Yes, because I think it's the role that we play. Like she's, I think she's getting to that makes it like that. We're, I'm not saying like people are saying it's a bad thing being at home with your kids. It's just that you have to take out time for you. And, um, and women oh, don't do that. Post the call number. I think Whitney wanted to call in. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she want to call in y'all please call in i we want to hear what you guys yeah, have to I say definitely, I, yeah we we definitely need to get more specific uh oh lord because i definitely <laughs> want to know what what do you feel that you've lost um as a woman uh, who have children and that's like mary you know like what so what do you feel nothing? what do you feel <laughs> that you can do or, or what what do you feel that you were doing before you had kids and that you were married that you that you can't do now. I, I, Go ahead. Actually, and actually that. polishing your nails and letting them dry. That's <laughs> it. Lord just simple Jesus. stuff like that. Like just being able to just polish your nails and just let them just being able to sit there and let them dry. You don't got to go tie no shoes. You don't got to go and sweep the kitchen, wash, you know what I'm saying? Like some extra stuff, like pick up uh, clean boogers out of baby nose or you something know, like that or whatever. I'm not saying. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I just want to say, ahead, why, why, why you can't just do that when they sleep, I, when they go to bed? Because he won't. Okay. 
I'm gonna shut up. No, go ahead. Like, what? 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 Yeah, well, you about to get personal? Right. No, what do you want to do? No, but that's the time that you do, that you are really kind of giving more attention to the head of the household. Because if you go to him and be like, "Baby, let me just sit up here and polish my nails while you trying to get some," you know what I'm saying? Like, you you know what I mean? They still gonna be messed up. What's the number? <laughs> you is crazy, and you're right. I mean, I, the, 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 you talking to the wrong type of guys, dude? You see it? I like girls with polished nails and all that. So I'm going to let you do your thing because that's what I like to see. You know, right. I don't like to see the more crusty, uh, you know, no, palms y'all don't and like nails. To see it, but you don't want to go through the, you, you don't want to have the patience to wait for them to dry. Man. The call in number is 248-854-9850. Go ahead. Say the number again. 248-854-9850. It's on the screen. Yo guys be thirsty, thirsty. It's on the screen. <laughs> is that what it is? Thirsty. Um, I, well, I'll speak for me. I'll speak for me. I don't feel I've gained a lot. I've gained a lot, I will say. But Oh, you got a call. Hold oh on. yes. Caller. Go ahead. Caller, go ahead. Hello? Caller? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Whitney Tim. Wait, you gotta turn your um turn your radio down. I mean your your phone. Oh, down. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> okay. What's going on? Yeah, Wait. my name is Whitney. Hey. Hey, boo. Hey. What's going on? Oh, I'm live. Yeah, baby, you yeah, live. <laughs> oh, okay. My bad, y'all. My bad. Cause you had to turn my my thing down. But this is what I wanted to say about the whole losing yourself and stuff because I definitely thought that, you know, especially taking a step from, you know, being regular or, you know, getting married. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I've lost anything, you know, being married. I think that, you know, my partner understands me and me needing some me time so he can back off sometimes. Mm -hmm. And he also helps me out with being, you know, a mother. I think that just being a mother in general, we're very nurturing. I think people without kids who have dogs mother their dogs. I think that's just a part of being a mother. Yeah. When it comes to being a father, I think that men are dads, but they just understand that they're going to have to do their own things at times, and they don't think about the women because women are nurturers. You know, she's mm -hmm. good at home with them kids. Right quick, I'm going to go get a drink. Like, shit, I want to get a drink, too, sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that that sometimes makes people whatever. But going back to when that man said women should be more specific, it's hard to be specific when you don't know exactly how you feel or can't put your finger on it. Like, some people just want to break, but they don't know what they need to break from. That's deep. Know? Okay. Um. My my response to that is, eat, let's just say that was true. What you said about men just now. Um. When I feel like that's where communication come in. That you have to you have to sit your man down and have a have a have a talk. You know, without it being an argument or anything, and be like, listen. Um. It, you know, if it's okay with you, um, I'd like to you know start out with a night every two weeks. Like, let me get this night to myself you know, maybe go over my girlfriend house or whatever the case may be, just some time to just kick it, you know, because I'm just kind of getting a little stressed or just need a little, you know, break, Spe especially if your man already has his nights that he go out and, you know, do his thing, you know, that's where communication come in at. And then if he got a problem with that, you maybe you talking to the wrong guy. You know what? I'm going to tell you like this. Thanks, I'm, I, I, thanks let, for calling with. I, I'm going to tell you like this. For... Being completely honest, I enjoy when a wife goes out and do her own thing. Mm -hmm. Because me and the kids, boy, we get to rocking up in there. <laughs> we get to rocking and rolling. Because, uh, see, what, what women don't realize is that when when y'all are home, we we kind of like waiting on y'all. You know what I mean? We, we kind of like, all right, we taking our cues from you. What do you want me to do? So we're in limbo. You know what I mean? Of what we need to do or what needs to be done in the household because, all right, well, I ain't going to do nothing with the kids because she may want to do something. You know what I mean? So we kind of like in this holding pattern, to wow. be perfectly honest. Just you know take what I'm them if you want to take them. Yeah, no, no, it's not that. It's, it's, 
it's we when 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 a woman is at home, that man is there waiting, you know what I mean, in preparation of whatever she needs to, Right. Whatever she, she needs, kind whatever like that's kind of like back up. Exactly. So when you're gone, that that is released. So now I can do what I need to do with I, with the kids. You see okay. what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm saying. So you know, dip as much as you need to. 